let me let me let me let me get a little closer so y'all y'all can see what I'm what I'm really 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 talking about. Okay, except for this piece right here, like okay, there it goes. It's like melted in now. All right, y'all. So. Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I just filmed this install video and this is a 13 by 6 lace wig from Austria hair um if you guys are interested in this and you like how it looks keep on watching all right y'all so this is how the wig is looking I did go ahead and pre pluck it and as well bleach the knot so it is washed and conditioned and ready to be installed um this is an HD lace so I didn't really have to do much to it I didn't really have to over pluck it because it was so nicely pre-plucked and yeah. So I just went ahead and put some of my wax stick on my hair because that is going to be considered my middle part. And as you guys know, if you guys are new to my channel, I do like to pluck, I mean part my hair in the middle before laying down my glue. Even if I'm going to wear it in a side part, I do still put it in the middle. This just helps me apply the wig on evenly. That's why I like to do it that way. So I'm just going in with my hot comb and I'm just defining the part a little bit more. I'm going ahead now and I'm re-putting some makeup on my cap because it was showing through the lace. This lace is super thin and super fine so you guys want to be very careful. And I probably would suggest actually doing the melted bald cap method instead of this method. It's just the method cap ball method actually puts a lot of stress on my edges so I really don't like to use that method like that so I usually just put my cap on regular so I am going in with two layers of bold hold lace glue and I like to just put it in the middle and then I work on my left to right side once it's been glued down so now I'm going ahead and as you guys can see as I'm tapping it lightly the lace is just melting in perfectly with my skin like it flows perfectly so now i'm just going to begin to do my left and right sides and i'm just going in lightly and i'm also going in if there's any areas that i did glue down that didn't get enough glue i'm just going ahead and reapplying that glue you guys want to always make sure that all around your lace is fully glued down and there's not no areas that don't have any glue just because while you're doing your baby hairs those areas will lift back up and as well as when your hair starts to get old they will roll first so you guys want to make sure that everything is fully glued down so now I'm just about finished I'm just going in with small corners of my areas and putting some glue you guys have been going crazy asking me to review Erica J's lace glue and y'all I'm trying to get to it but she's always selling out so please I hear y'all like I'm gonna get it when I catch the restart but yeah y'all for now I'm just figuring out bold hold and using bold hold so I'm just going in with my hot comb again and I'm just defining my part some more after that I'm gonna go ahead and begin doing my baby hairs so I'm not really gonna go into too much detail about my baby hairs just because I have plenty of detailed videos about my baby hairs and stuff like that but I will say that I am using a regular baby hairs toothbrush from the beauty supply store. You can find this at your local black beauty supply store. I think it's by the brand R.E.D. or Red. I'm not too sure. And I'm going in with the gel which is by She's Balm Collection. And I'm using Balm Goo. Oh actually I'm not even using Balm Goo today. I'm tripping. Sorry y'all. I'm using Gorilla Snot today. Which is crazy because I never usually, usually use that. But that's what was in front of me. So that's what I use. I'm going in with some Gorilla Snot. And um, I'm also going to be cutting my baby hairs with a eyebrow razor. So yeah. I don't use scissors. Eyebrow razors just gives me like a more natural look. Instead of a straight across look. So yeah y'all. So continue watching my little baby hairs. I went crazy with the baby hairs too. So y'all don't got to tell me.
all right so i'm just about done with my baby hairs i'm just doing the last swoop and i honestly like been feeling like the crazy long sideburns i don't know why but that's my go-to look so now i'm going to begin flattening my hair and i'm going to be using my rat tail comb i actually got this comb from sally's this is one of those carbon fiber combs and i'm going in with my heat protection spray and i can't remember the name of the spray but i do have it in other videos i have it listed down below because i don't remember the name but it's like a red heat protection spray and I'm just going in with my flat iron, my spray, and my comb. The flat iron that I'm using is the Conair Nano Titanium Flat Iron. This is like the best flat iron. If you guys really go back in my channel, you'll notice that I've probably been using this flat iron for the past two years, going on three years. It's the same exact one. Never had no issues. So make sure you guys get one of those. You can purchase it at Sally's, but it's just an amazing flat iron. As you guys can see, it used to be all white. It's turning colors, but it still works amazing. So now I'm just going in and I'm flat ironing my hair and I'm parting it and hot combing it and flat ironing it. So the keys to getting your hair really, really flat and sleek is like after you flat iron it, part it and then hot comb it like go in small sections that's like my main key that's really really how i get it to be super super flat keep doing several rounds of that as you go through so i'm now readjusting my part i'm going back in with my wax stick again and i'm going to be reparting my hair as you guys can see some of the back of the lace bleached more than the front but I'm not going to do any plucking. I just feel like plucking is going to bald it out. I'm just going in with my makeup. And look at that, y'all. It's already widening it up and giving it a natural, perfect look. So I always take my makeup powder that's two or three shades lighter than me. And I do that. Then I take my spritz and my oil sheen. I go ahead and brush or hot comb that into position. And then I take my hot comb and basically press over it. And this just gives you the perfect sleek look, y'all. So make sure you guys check out Austria hair. Look at how nice this looks. Hello. This is the final look of the hair. And I'm just wearing a 13 by 4, 24 inch straight wig from, well, this actually was body wave, but I did end up going ahead and flat ironing it so everything looks really good um this is an actual hd lace so the blending in to my complexion is amazing is amazing so i'm gonna zoom in so you guys could like really see okay yes so this hair is bomb the quality of it is amazing it was super easy to apply the baby hairs came out easily. Everything blended in perfect. And this is just some pretty nice hair. It's super nice and it is from Austria Hair. Please be sure to check out Austria Hair for some bomb quality hair. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Like, I love putting on a fresh wig. It just looks like a fresh perm. Like The hair is, just looks so nice and crispy, clean, and beautiful. Like... I love when my hair looks like this, like, I love it. So make sure you guys check out Austria Hair for some bomb, affordable, quality hair. Thank you guys for watching.